Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a double unboxing. We have a little package from Rogue Lacquer in here. One of those is a mystery summer flaky polish. So if you don't want to see what that looks like, you might want to skip ahead a little bit. I think I only ordered three from Rogue. There is the Polish Pickup Rewind Polish in here that I didn't currently own, so I picked that up. You've got the Mystery Flaky, and there is another polish in here. And then I got my Polish Pickup order for July. So this is going to be Rewind Month purchases for July. So let's go ahead and just get into it. So first off, oh wow, okay, that thing is a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> I actually ordered two of these for our little house cat that we have. Um, it's Off the Hook Creations by Jessica. These have catnip, so they're her little crochet possums. That is gigantic. I did not realize it was going to be that big, but my kitty cat will be happy to have those. They both have catnip in them, so I got those. I don't remember what I all picked up from Rewind. I do know I got two extra like backup polishes so I don't know if I'll unbox those because I already have them in my collection but we're gonna go ahead and get into these here so let's see yeah so I do have this one this is atomic polish sour apple rings I'm gonna leave that in the packaging because I do already have one and then I have this one here which is noodles nail polish donkey donkey I had to get a backup of this one. I love it. So I did get a backup of this polish, but I'm going to put it in a drawer, set it aside because I don't need that one out at the moment. And then I have three other polishes that we're going to go ahead and do swatches of. So let's go ahead and turn you guys around. So we're going to go ahead and unbox these last couple. I'm not going to swatch the two that I got duplicates of. I already have those and I don't want to open them at the moment. So first up here is Dom Nail Polish. This is Ah. Uh, I thought I had this polish initially and I don't know how I didn't end up picking this one up when it launched. I don't know when it came out the first time but it came out for Rewind. This is a beautiful like Merlot base. You've got purple glitter and white glitter in an array of sizes and then you've got some beautiful shimmer in this one as well. This is pretty. I went back and forth on whether I wanted to pick this one up because I was like you know do I need it? I think I needed it so I went ahead and picked it up. It is a squishier polish. This one I feel like you could probably layer, which I love to do. I love taking these types of polishes and layering them over something else. So there it is in the first coat. Watch this one in its first coat. This is Dom Nail Polish. Ah. This one I went back and forth on. I was trying to talk myself out of it, but had seen it swatched many times and knew that I wanted to pick it up. So I got this one. It is a really beautiful purple base. You've got that gorgeous glowy shimmer. Then there is purple and white glitters in an array of sizes in here. So I did swatch it already in one coat. I was not recording, but we're going to throw on a quick second coat here. This one just looks like it's going to be so fun for like the fall and winter. I'm anxious to see how it builds up. It is sheer. I am swatching on a clear nail wheel. I don't know if I have any more of my transparent nail wheels. I do apologize. But for me, I think this would be fun over a similar color. I think you could put this over a dark purple. So I wanted to put this Dom nail polish over a couple base colors just to see what it looks like. So for the bases that we're going to use, we have KB Shimmer, Stream On, and Stream Away. And then I have this purple from LA Colors. This is Tropical Paradise. I am curious to see what the Dom polish looks like over a base color. This is what it looks like build up in two coats. I'm going to go in and do a quick third coat of this polish on its own so you guys could see what it looks like. It's a little squishy. 
I feel like, depending on your application and nail length, two to three coats is probably going to be what you're looking for. So then we're going to go over the blue. I don't think this is going to be anything... Oh, okay. It's pretty over the blue, but I don't know that I would wear it this way. So that's what it looks like over the blue base coat or blue polish. And then I'm going to do it over that purple. I don't know how this will pair either just because of the colors. Okay, that's not too bad. You could definitely do it over a purple base, I would say. If you want to deepen the base color of this polish, I think pairing it over a purple would be beautiful. So you have three coats on its own, one coat over the KB Shimmer Polish, and one coat over a purple polish from LA Colors. Next, we have this one from Colorist Carol, and this is the Lost Diadem. This is a beautiful blue polish. It's got holographic sparkle in here. I want to say there's just some hollow sparkle. There might be a hint of like a red shifty shimmer in here as well. I don't know that my camera's going to pick it up, but it is really, really pretty. So we're going to swatch this one on its own, and then I am going to go over a base color with this one as well. Ooh, this is bright. Definitely squishy. This is a Crelly-ish formula, almost bordering on jelly. So that's what it looks like in that first coat. I have that polish from KB Shimmer that I want to swatch this over. I don't know if it's going to do a huge amount besides give you that holographic sparkle, but we're going to try it out and see. I think mostly you're just going to get a holographic topper effect with this. It's pretty. I definitely could see myself wearing it this way, but I feel like you're probably going to want to build it up and wear it on its own. Either way, it is beautiful. Just with the dark blue polish, you get that holographic topper effect. And lastly, we have this one from Cadillacer. This is Orchid. This is a polish I missed out on on its initial launch. Told myself I didn't need it. Saw so many people wearing this polish once it was released, and I was so glad it came back and I had the opportunity to get my hands on this one. It is a beautiful, like, turquoisey, curly base. You've got pink glitters, and then you've got color shifting flakes in here as well. We are going to swatch this on its own and then swatch it over a base color just to see the versatility of this polish. I don't know why I didn't pick it up the first time. I think I was trying to talk myself out of it, but I had the opportunity to get it this time and thought I'm going to go ahead and try to pick it up because I was going to be disappointed if I didn't. I love the added glitters to this polish. I have seen, I want to say Hillary from Mediocre Manny's wear this, and she's talked about it, and I think she's who sold me on picking this polish up. So there it is in the first coat. I'm going to swatch it over this polish from Essie. This is in Blooming Friendships. I want to see what it'll look like over a similar base color. I like that. It definitely deepens it up a little bit, gives it a little more opacity. That is really fun. So there you have one coat over Essie and one coat on its own. I am going to go ahead and do a quick second coat of that Colorist Carol Polish base. A little bit squishy, but it, it is a beautiful color. So there it is built up in two coats. And then you have one coat. I think this type of combination over that darker base would be a beautiful combo as well. Of that Cadillacer. This one's fun. I think I would pair it over something. I don't know that I would wear it on its own necessarily. I might. I'd have to play around with it and see. It is really fun, and I don't have anything like this in my collection. So there you have two coats of Cadillacer Orchid, and then one coat over that Essie polish. Well, here we have everything from my polish pickup order. I did go on and throw a third coat of that Cadillacer polish on 
This is what everything looks like that we got in this haul. I, keep in mind with the Rogue set here, if you do not want to see what the Summer Mystery Polish looks like, I advise you to click out. You're not going to want to see this portion. I will try to save it for the end, but I'm not going to know until I start unboxing this. That might be, yeah, that's the mystery. So we're going to move the mystery over to, the mystery is sitting right here. So we're going to go ahead and unbox the rest of this stuff. Yeah, this is Spooky Sprinkles. This is halfway to Halloween. This is pretty. Look at the gorgeous sparkle this polish has. That's beautiful. You have got like a rose gold, pink, purple, blue glitter bomb in here. I think my husband talked me into this one. Yeah, so this is definitely a flaky bomb. If you're new to Rogue Lacquer's flaky bomb polishes, this is what everybody's talking about when they say flaky bomb. So this is what it looks like in that first coat. I would almost use it as a topper, but I don't know that you would be able to. It is very densely packed. I love the colors. I would almost probably put this over like one or two nails in a manicure and use this as like an accent nail. I think that would be beautiful. It is really, really pretty. I don't think I could take credit for purchasing this one. I think my husband chose that one. So the next one is going to be uh, the Sky is Falling. This was her Rewind Polish for July. So this is The Sky is Falling. I don't know when this released. I was going to say 2021, 2022, I believe. I did not start collecting Rogue Polishes until early 2022, and I don't recall seeing this one. This is a almost like Tiffany Blue base, and then you've got colorful flakies in here. There is purple, gold, blue, red, green, all kinds of flaky goodness in here with sticking to that. But anyway, oh, this is pretty. This is going to be fun for the summer. I could see myself wearing this one in conjunction with a few other colors as a manicure. So look at all of those gorgeous, colorful flakes. This is totally up my alley. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the Mystery Summer Polish. If you do not want to see what this looks like, I advise you to go ahead and click out, and I will see you in my next video. Oh, okay. So here we have the Mystery Flaky for Summer 2024. This is Sun-Kissed Sand. This is like a sandy taupe base. There's holographic sparkle in here, and then color shifting flakes. That is interesting. I will say off the top of my head, it, when, there's also possibly black flakes. I think there's black flakes in here as well. It is a little hard to tell. It's got some beautiful hollow sparkle. This is definitely that beigey base, like, you know, almost the color of sand, hence probably where the name is coming from. But that's what it looks like in that first coat. I don't know how this is going to look on my skin tone. I will say that it's, I, I don't know how it's going to look on my skin tone. I could see myself wearing it with other polishes in a manicure. I don't think I would wear it on its own. It is pretty. I just don't know if it's going to be flattering to my skin tone or not. So here we have everything swatched. We have two coats of that mystery flaky on the right. In the middle is two coats of the sky is falling. Yeah, it's, I don't know why I'm thinking there's more to it. It's just the sky is falling. And then you have that flaky bomb polish. So that wraps up this little mini haul from Polish Pickup and Rogue Lacquer. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you picked anything up that I got. Let us know in the comments what you got your hands on. The Rogue Polishes, I will say this one off the top of my head is not screaming summer to me. This you know, I, I don't know. You guys will have to let me know your thoughts. I feel like fall, yes. Summer flaky. I don't know that this is speaking summer to me. It is a little interesting that she would pick this for a summer flaky polish. But anyway, it's pretty. I just don't know that it's going to be a flattering polish. I'll have to try it. I definitely will plan on putting this one on my fall rack to play around with and see how I like it. I might like it more than I think I do. 
that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you in the next one.